This is my one minute movie explaining the Gibbs phenomena of a piecewise continuously differentiable periodic function at a jump discontinuity. So let's suppose we have a function f of x that equals negative pi over 4 when x is between negative pi and 0 and f of x equals 0 when x equals 0 and f of x equals pi over 4 when x is between 0 and pi. So this is our Fourier series here 1 over 2n minus 1 times the sine of 2n minus 1x and this is our step function or, and here's our here's where x is negative pi over 4 between negative pi and 0 and x is pi over 4 and y is pi over 4 when x is between 0 and pi and we have our discontinuity here now if we look at the plot of the Fourier series um, you can see that the series converges to f at x between negative pi and pi even though the function has the jump discontinuity I'm just plotting half of it between 0 and pi and um, I've written out our nth partial sum notation here and uh, here I've plotted this black line I've plotted the fifth partial sum and then the blue line I've plotted the 14th partial sum and then the red line here is the 22nd partial sum and uh, each of these partial sums shows a peak greater than pi over 4 and uh, the peak is near x equals 0 and uh, since the partial sums approach the function as n approaches infinity we might expect these peaks to flatten out and become smaller as n gets larger but this does not occur instead the peaks they maintain roughly the same height but they move closer to the y-axis because the discontinuity occurs at the origin. The partial sums do indeed have the function as a limit but not in the way one might expect and this is the Gibbs phenomenon.